We're looking at three cases from 1991 that have connections to Bushwick, Carroll Gardens, and Park Slope. Rex Uerman was a young architect back then, 27 years old. He had a boss who lived in Park Slope and building permits connected to a property in Bushwick. A Brooklyn neighborhood is gripped by fear after a young woman is found hacked to pieces. Sandra Acosta, a 23-year-old mom with drug problems, was dismembered just before Halloween 1991. The question now for relatives of Sandra Acosta, as well as detectives, is a serial killer responsible for the gruesome discovery? Acosta's family lived on Douglas Street in Park Slope. Somebody set out to do this to not only hurt other people, because there's a lot of young girls missing. Same color hair, about the same height. The other girl's three blocks away from here. She's missing, Tiffany. Tiffany is 12-year-old Tiffany Dixon, who lived on Hart Street in Bushwick, but went to school near Carroll Gardens, which borders Park Slope. She vanished two weeks before Sandra Acosta was killed on October 10th, 1991. After Tiffany Dixon dropped off her younger cousin at his classes here in Carroll Gardens, she only had a four-block walk to her junior high school, but she never made it there. The Murder Incorporated column noted that young architect Rex Hewerman had a boss that lived on Carroll Street in Park Slope, a street that runs into Carroll Gardens, where Tiffany was last seen. Hewerman later filed a permit in June 1992 to do work on Hart Street in Bushwick, the same block where Tiffany Dixon lived. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children has posted an age enhancement photo of what Tiffany might look like now if she's alive at age 44. Back on July 14th, the district attorney in Suffolk County released disturbing details of Hewerman's alleged online searches, including multiple searches for child porn, along with another seeking information about Asian men. The final Brooklyn murder of interest in 1991 concerned a young immigrant mom from South Korea who ran a store in Bushwick with her husband. Suya Kim was found in a Bed-Stuy dumpster in June 1991. This sketch of her suspected killer was based on a description by a security guard who gave a height range that's shorter than Rex Hewerman's. But here's a point worth noting. The security guard gave a license plate number that connected to a female exchange student at CW Post on Long Island. The student was Asian and she had not driven the car. Rex Hewerman graduated from New York Tech, a one minute drive from CW Post. While none of these cases have been formally linked to Rex Hewerman, they are still unsolved and certainly being talked about now.